Well, I wrote the book as a tribute to my father and to celebrate a relationship I had with him that I thought was beautiful, father-son bond. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think of it that way. For me, the book's about a father-son relationship. And the airplane crash that I was in with my father is part of that relationship. Okay. It's where everything he passed on to me had to come alive. There was no more learning. Yes. I had to know it or die. Yeah. I, I'm built this way. Yes. I live for... I mean, I get it from writing. I get a deep satisfaction from writing. I'm a writer, and uh, it's it is work and it's a struggle. But when it, when I find the narrative, when I find the voice, it feels great. Yes. And um, I love getting good waves. It makes clears my mind. It helps me think about my life and things in a different way. Yes. And, and the same with skiing. Right. He, was he, he could have passed a passion for cello on to me. Yes. And we could have gone through sort of the similar stuff on just a different way. Uh, the father sharing the passion with the son. Me, it's a lot of work yes. to be good at, mu at music. Uh, a lot of work and a yes. lot of hard times and a lot of, I don't want it, and tears and all this stuff. And I'm not mm. good enough or whatever. And then you break through and you find it. So... Skiing and surfing is just a metaphor. It just happens to be our thing. Oh, yes. The okay. thing that he was into. I mean, he was a pretty good musician, but that's not what he yes, passed on. Yes, guitar and everything. But, uh, but uh, so, so my point is, if I had on my own also been attracted to the cello or something, I think he would have supported that. Yes. Um, but for him, see, he, he came from a different time where he didn't analyze, <clears throat> okay, you know, how is he going to feel and what's the what's the consequences of making him yeah. he just went this just is great this is great yeah. and i'm going to share this with him yes. and the sooner he gets it the more fun he's going to have yes yeah. so maybe so so okay so so the book was motivated by my son when he was about 4 years old i started doing the same things with him that my father did with me Yes. And he was saying things to me that I used to say to my father. Yes. And I'm saying him to him like my father. Okay. Yes. So it makes me start thinking about the book yes. or about my life. Yes. And, and then he had said something, oh, it would be a good book, Dad. And all this. So I really got into it. Then I returned to Mount Baldy where the crash was. And uh, only because of the book. I had no reason to go there before. Yes. And because I wanted to write a good book. And so you made yourself go back. I went there, I found the people whose ranch I yes, ended up at. They were last, yeah. amazing, interesting, really kind of spiritual people there. And uh, twice I hiked up, one time all the way to the top chute, and it was a hard hike. And uh, I found pieces of the airplane. And, yes, I remember that And uh, just, Our it was jet. like one of these mystical, like writing this book, things just came my way. Just a guy who I'd skied with, he said, hey, I told him about I'm writing this book. And, okay. and he said, oh, I have a Cessna with all the sophisticated yes, stuff, but it's the same thing. Back. And so we flew the route, and this it just crazy. brought it this all back. Crazy, yeah, yes. it was crazy. It was yes. crazy. And um, just just the whole thing of be touching the same rocks and crawling up the little canyons again, I brought a notepad with me because I thought it would help. Yes. Oh, boy, I mean, I was right there. So that's why I went back a second time because I just kept. Yeah, I, the I story was writing itself mm -hmm. as I was going up and down. So I, uh, after I wrote the book, you have all these experiences. You, you realize what you did. You know, you don't really realize it while you're doing it. But something very important, which is that when I was a kid, as we all have gone through probably, you you perceive many things. Kids understand what's going on. Adults never realize that. It's a kid knows. But you have no language to express it. You, you don't know how to express it. So this was my chance to express all the things that I went through and saw. Yes. Yeah, because now I was an adult. You were inarticulate when you were a kid. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got to articulate it. And that mm -hmm. was just, that was very empowering. Yes. It was 
great to be able to do that. So, yeah.